Now that I've written my function in standard form, the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the end behavior. What, I, what do I anticipate is going to be the end behavior of the graph I'm going to draw from this polynomial. I'm going to call your attention to page 339 of your book where it describes this. And then I'm going to describe it the way that I like to describe it. What I need to do is I need to look at two things when I'm just looking for n value of, uh, of the behavior of the graph. The first is the highest power of x. And I want to know, is it an even power or is it an odd power? The second thing I want to look for is the sign of the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the x with the highest power. So, in this case here, that is my x with the highest power. It's easy to see now that I put it in standard form. And the coefficient of this term right there is 1. And it is a positive 1. So the sign of the leading coefficient is positive. So in this case, I have an odd power and a positive leading coefficient. Now, when I'm trying to think of n behavior, I generally relate back to a function that I'm very comfortable with, which is f of x is equal to x cubed. x cubed, odd power, positive leading coefficient. What does the graph look like? Well, I know it goes through the origin. I know there's 1, 1, and I know it goes to 2, 8. And I know it has negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 2, negative 8. So the graph of x cubed looks something like this. It goes off that way into infinity and down that way into infinity. For every graph of a polynomial where the highest power is odd, and the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to have the same end behavior as the graph of x cubed. And that end behavior is as x approaches negative infinity. So x is going that way towards negative infinity. My f of x is going down to negative infinity. So this side is down, and on this side, as x approaches positive infinity, so it's going this way, my y values, my f of x, are going up, and they are also approaching infinity. So this is up behavior. So every graph of a polynomial with an odd highest coefficient, odd highest power, and a positive leading coefficient is going to be a down up shape. Now, if I want to change the leading coefficient of a function with an odd highest power. What would that do? So here I have the same function of x cubed, except now it's negative x cubed. Well, negative x cubed, I know that if x is equal to negative 1, the um, y value is going to be positive 1. And if I have x is equal to negative 2, the y value is going to be positive 8. I know it's going to go through the origin, and I know I'm going to have 1, negative 1, and now I'm going to have 2, 
negative 8. So my graph is going to take the same kind of shape, except it's now been reflected over the x-axis. This part over here used to be going up, and this part over here used to be going down before I put the negative sign in front of my leading coefficient. So what the negative sign does in front of a leading coefficient is it flips the graph over the x-axis. So instead of having a down up, now I have an up down. As my x values get lower and lower as they approach negative infinity, my y values are now going to be positive. And as my x values get higher and higher to positive infinity, my y values are going to get lower. So when I have an odd highest power, and a negative leading coefficient, I end up having an up down graph of the polynomial. In the case that we're looking at, we haven't changed the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient here is still positive. If it were to become negative, the graph, all it would do would instead of being a down up, it would become an up down. Just so we can carry this to its conclusion, what if I had a function where the highest power was an even number? Well, again, I'm going to go to a function that I'm comfortable with. And I have f of x is equal to x squared. So clearly, our highest power is 2, is an even number. And in this case, I want to use a leading coefficient that's positive. So I have a leading coefficient here is positive 1. Well, I know I'm going to have 0, 0. I know I'm going to have 1, 1. I will have 2, 4, and negative 2, um, positive 4. And I will have um, negative 3, positive 9, positive 3, positive 9. And we have our familiar parabola. And the end behavior, in this case, is up, up. As my x approaches negative infinity, I'm going over here to negative infinity, my y values are just going up and up and up. And as my x approaches positive infinity, again, my y values are just going up and up. So when I have an even power and a positive leading coefficient, I'm going to have a graph that is up, up. If I now change my leading coefficient, so I'm going to change my leading coefficient to be negative 1. So I'm going to have negative x squared. Well, if I, if I plot that, I know that I would have, still go through the origin, I'd have um, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1. I would have negative 2, negative 4. I'd have positive 2, negative 4. I'd have negative 3, negative 9. I'd have positive 3, negative 9. My parabola just like when we change the leading coefficient on the odd powers, has flipped itself over the x-axis. My end behavior changes. Now, as x approaches negative infinity, my, my y values are down. They're going to approach negative infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, again, my y values are down. So for any 
polynomial with a highest power, again, that is even, but with a leading coefficient that is negative, I'm going to have a down, down. Here's a little summary chart that I drew. I have highest power on this side, leading coefficient on this side. So for um, a leading coefficient that is positive and a highest power that's odd, think x cubed, and it's going to be down up. And for a leading coefficient that is negative, well, and it's still odd, just change, flip it around. It's up, down. For a leading coefficient that's positive and a power that's even, I have big x squared, and you know it's up, up. And if you change the sign on the leading coefficient, just flip it, and it's down, down. 